short exercise 22-9, we're going to create a schedule of cash receipts. So when we do a cash budget, the two main parts are the cash receipts and the cash payments. So in this exercise, we're working to get these two numbers, 442,400 and 502,800. Now these numbers don't coincide with this problem. This is just an example cash budget. So in this exercise, we're going to figure out how much cash we're going to receive in each month. So Barry is the name of the company. So Barry expects the total sales of 359,000 in January and 405,000 in February. Assume that Barry's sales are collected as follows. In the same month of the sale, 80% is collected. In the month after the sale, 10% is collected. Two months after the sale, 6% is collected and 4% is never collected. So if you add these up, they do add up to 100%. So there's additional information. November sales totaled 350,000. December, they were 325,000. And we're going to prepare a schedule of cash receipts from customers for January and February, including the calculation for the net accounts receivable balance as of the end of February. Round answers to the nearest dollar, and if an input box, if an input field is not used in the table, leave the input field empty. Do not enter a zero. So the first thing we're going to do is fill in our January and February sales. So we get that from up here, 359,000 in January, and then 405,000 in February. So our first task is to figure out of the November credit sales, how many we will be collected in January. So in November, we had sales totaling 350,000. So 350,000. So how many months have gone by from November to January? Two months. And two months after the sales, the company collects 6% of their sales on account. So we only collect 6% of November sales in January. So we're going to take this 350,000, the November sales, times a 6%, times 0 0.06 gives us $21,000. So next, we need to figure out of the December sales, which is 325,000. So let me plug that in there. 325,000. December credit sales, we collect, how much will we collect in January? Now that's one month later. So one month after the sale, we collect 10%. Well, that's easy. Times 0.1 or 0.10 equals 300 or 32,500. And then let's figure out how much of December sales we collect in February. So for, so remember December we had 325,000. So let's plug that in there again. 325,000. And how many months is it from December to February? It's two months. So two months after the sale we collect 6%. So times Point zero six equals 19,500. Now notice I'm putting it in the February column. Next, January credit sales. How much do we collect in January? Well, in the same month of the sale, we collect 80%. So how much were our January sales? 359,000. So 359,000 times the 80%, so 0 0.8, 28,000. 
uh, excuse me, 287,200. You put the comma in there and make it easier to read. And then, of the January sales, how much will we collect in the following month, February? Well, one month after the sale, we collect 10% in the month after the sale. So we're going to take 10% of 359,000. So just lop off a zero. We get 35,000 comma 900. Or you can just use the, the um, calculator 359,000 times 0.1 or 0 0.10. And then February sales, how much will we collect in the same month? 80%. How much were our February sales? 405,000. So 405,000 times 0.8, or if you insist on putting the 0, 0.80, 324,000. And then we just need to figure out the total. So in January, we collect 21,000. So let's add this plus this plus this, and we should get 340,700. For February, we're going to add this, this, and this, and we get 379,400. Now we need to, to determine the net AR, net accounts receivable, on February 28th. So basically, at the beginning of March, we want to know how much our AR is. So let's look at the November sales. So these November sales, how much would be collected in March? Well, looking at this chart, our sales are collected, our, our, I should say our AR is collected only in the first two months after the sale. 80% in the month of the sale, 10% in the month after the sale, and 6% two months after the sale. So for our AR, we're only collecting in the first two months. Anything after those two months, it's not collected. Because remember, these add up to 100%. So we're only collecting in the first two months. So November, we would collect in November and then the two months after, December and January. So those have all been collected. So we have no more AR from November. For December, um, the December AR is collected in December and then the two months after, January and February. So nothing would be collected in March. And then, so how about January? We had 359000 How much would be collected in March, which is two months after? So two months after the sale, we're going to collect 6%. So remember, this, this net AR at the end of February or the beginning of March, however you want to say it, represents how much we have not collected yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say January sales, January credit sales collected in March. So how much of January credit sales? 359,000 will be collected two months after? 6%. So clear this, we're going to say 359,359,000 times 0 0.06 equals 21,540. So now let's talk about the February sales. So how much of February sales will be collected after February? Well, we've got the 10% in the month after the sale and then the six months in the two or six percent in the two months after the sale so we first have to figure out february credit sales that will be collected in march and then february credit sales that will be collected in april so let's do march first so february we had four hundred five thousand how much will be collected in the in march the month after ten percent so ten percent of 405,000 is 40,000 comma 500. And then how much of our February sales will be collected in April? 6%. So 6% 6 of 405,000, so we're going to 
4050000 times 0 0.06 equals 24,300. So we're going to add these up, and we should get net AR of eighty-six thousand, comma, three hundred and forty dollars. Fantastic.